Arise, O Lord, come to our help. Redeem us with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. It's election day, it's D-Day. Today we pray for the nation. As we step into the Eucharist, we ask the Lord for the grace to act upon us for a smooth and a peaceful process of election today. And so to prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate the Eucharist with a humble and contrite heart, let us examine ourselves. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have, I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, you who arrange all things according to a wonderful design, graciously receive the prayers we pour out to you for our nation, that through the wisdom of its citizens and the integrity of its leaders, harmony, justice, equality may be assured, and lasting peace will come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, heard a voice saying, These, my two witnesses, are the two olive trees and the two lamps that stand before the Lord of the world. Fire can come from their mouth and consume their enemies if anyone tries to harm them. And if anybody does try to harm them, he will certainly be killed in this way. They are able to lock up the sky so that it does not rain as long as they are prophesying. They are able to turn water into blood and strike the whole world with any plague as often as they like. When they have completed their witnessing, the beast that comes out from the abyss is going to make war on them and overcome them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city, known by the symbolic names Sodom and Egypt, in which their Lord was crucified. Men out of every people, race, language, and nation will stare at their corpses for three and a half days, not letting them be buried. And the people of the world will be glad about it and celebrate the event by giving presents to each other because these two prophets have been a plague to the people of the world. After the three and a half days, God breathed life into their corpses, and they stood up. 
and everybody who saw it happen was terrified. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. And while their enemies were watching, they went up to heaven in a cloud. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on a ten-stringed lute. To you, who gives kings their victory, who sets David, your servant, free. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are those who, with a noble and generous heart, take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who had said that there is no resurrection, approached Jesus and put this question to him. Master, we have it from Moses in writing that if a man married brother dies childless, the man must marry the widow to raise up children for his brother. Well then, there were seven brothers. The first having married a wife died childless. The second and the third married the widow. And the same with all seven they died living or no children. Finally, the woman herself died. Now at the resurrection, to which of them will she be wife, since she had been married to all seven? Jesus replied, The children of this world take wives and husbands, but those who are judged worthy of a place in the other world and in the resurrection from the dead do not marry because they can no longer die. For they are the same as the angels, and being children of the resurrection, they are children of God. And Moses himself implies the dead rise again in the passage about the bush when he calls the Lord of God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God, not of the dead, but of the living. For to him all people are in fact alive. Some scribes then spoke up, well, well said, Master, because they would not dare to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We draw close to the week and the theme that we were invited to stay with was on the visitation of the Lord, the hour, the moment of God's visit, which is simply death. No one knows the hour. And this week we've been looking at the whole experience of what is life after death, this transit, this doorway 
to the new world, to life after. That was a struggle with the Sadducees today. They were wondering what happened to resurrection. And Jesus said, there is, there is a life. There is a life after death. There is a moment that everything will be transformed into a different experience. But what is important when you begin to find yourself in the words of Jesus today about this new angelic, new world where there is no death after this, there is something very important that you need to stay with in the book of Apocalypse, in the book of Revelation today. All these were found and they were found or deemed worthy to enter the kingdom of God. It's the same words that you will find in the gospel. Those who were found worthy to enter into the heavenly kingdom. Because you find this very beautifully in, in, in John's narration, in John's vision. He says this, you know, the, all the crop, cops of body were lying there and then there was this breath of life that was given to them. And at that breath, all stood up and then they heard the voice. And what was the voice? Sorry? What was the voice? Come? Come where? Come up to heaven. Come up to heaven. When the breath was given to them, they rose and they went up to heaven. That's the communal res uh, response, the communal relationship with God. We've been speaking about this very much, all saints. That whole experience to be with God. That's why the responsible psalm is... You're all here or you're wondering who to vote. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. The Lord is everything to me. The Lord is the foundation. At the day when you are found worthy. Because the whole relationship, my dear, as you draw close to this week, is about two things, which I've been echoing all through the week. A deepening, transforming life relationship with God. A deepening, transformation relationship with God. That's all. When you can deepen your relationship with God and you keep transforming your life every day into the image and likeness of God, you will see God face to face. Because the two visions, the two witnesses that Revelation tells us today, two of the witness, witness in Greek means martyrs, that's all. The one who is willing to lay down their life for the kingdom. Martyrs and witnesses testify testimony. I love this text, 2 Timothy 2.11. If you have died with Christ, you will reign with him. 2 Timothy 2.11. If you have died with him, you will reign with him. Let us ask the Lord as we draw close to this week. The hour of visitation is close at hand. But the most important thing, they were found worthy to enter into the kingdom. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to goodness we have this bread to offer. Which word is given in human hands have met, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offerings your people make in commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, be acceptable to you, O Lord, that following the example of the Blessed Mother, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, yet profits the gift of salvation. And so in the company and the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Stepping into the prayer that Jesus gave us, 
We pray for our nation. We pray for a smooth and a peaceful process of election today. We ask for the wisdom to enlighten the darkness of our mind. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on, on earth as it is in heaven. in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We'll offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Truly I say to you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it shall be given to you, says the Lord.
Let us pray. <coughs> Having nourished us with the heavenly food, O Lord, grant that by the example and according to the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, we may always serve you in a purity of life to magnify you in a wholehearted praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day and vote wisely. Thank you, Father.